Much like everything else this year, the COVID-19 pandemic has been affecting communities across the world. The Farmington football team have been playing lights out this season, but due to COVID-19, there have been some hiccups on the road. I caught up with some people that made the season happen. I'm Alex Barrett and I'm a senior at Farmington High School. Alex Barrett and the Farmington football team have been adjusting to their new football season that no one was expecting. It's been a tough transition to the COVID-19 guidelines and the team has been trying to make the best of it. At first I thought it was pretty dumb, but I mean, you gotta control what you can control. I knew it was gonna be really cold because it's Minnesota, so just gotta get ready for that, but it hasn't been so bad so far, I mean, so. Head coach, Mr. Fisher, has been working in the program for many years now and is on his most successful run yet. The Tigers have worked really hard to prepare for the season and are taking full advantage of it. I'm Mr. Fisher. I am a high school English teacher. I teach ninth and 10th grade English and I'm the head football coach here at Farmington High School. It's been lots of ups and downs, you know, but honestly, it's been amazing just being together with the team and being able to be together with our players and our coaches and be out there. It's been different. Um, but we have really just enjoyed every second of being able to be together, you know, to go from end of the summer thinking we aren't going to have a season to then all of a sudden we're maybe going to get three weeks to work together to all of a sudden it's going to be for real, you know. So it's been a roller coaster, um, but now that we're in it, just enjoying every minute of it. Mr. Tauchi is a legendary icon at Farmington High School and has been on the sideline for years recording football games for his video production department. This season is not like one he has ever seen. Hi, I'm Mr. Tauchi, and I've been recording uh, Farmington football games probably since 1999 when, uh, when the high school was at Bachman. This year for recording the, the football games, I'm a lot more careful and kind of leery of uh, how I'm filming on the sidelines. And uh, you just, it's, it's difficult to maintain that six feet of social distancing. and. You know, you're constantly looking to your left, to your right, and like, am I, am I far enough away from people? Always wear a mask uh, when I'm filming, and uh, I just try to keep clear of uh, any football players. Um, I have, usually if like a play was happening on the other side and I'd have to go to the other side, I would right, run right through the, the back part, but now it's kind of take an extra step out onto the track and, you know, kind of keep your distance away from people. The coronavirus pandemic has had many big effects around the world. Unfortunately, its effects have been demonstrated in the small town of Farmington at the football games for the Tigers. I mean, it's weird because we always got to be like spread out on the sidelines and always got to have our masks up. So it's like, it's really different. So, and we can't obviously have a student section, which makes a huge difference. The first game that I was out there filming, it was so quiet. It was just almost eerie that there was actually a, a game happening and you know I'm used to like the student section making you know cheering noise and clapping and I, I could faintly hear the cheerleaders cheering and things like that but it's just it's so different uh, filming the games this year it's just really really quiet and I miss <laughs> I miss the loud rowdiness of the student section and the cheering and the band being out there playing all the time it's like it's just it's such a it's such a different uh, way of playing games. The Tigers are off to an amazing season and have had a successful 5-1 and one regular season record and have scored a first round bye in the playoffs as well as a home game. The team is very excited about this and looks forward to take full advantage of their hard work. Well, it's a lot of fun. You know, I, I think everybody's worked really hard for this opportunity. Um, a lot of the seniors have been playing since they were sophomores. So they took their lumps early on, you know, and, but stuck with it, got bigger, faster, stronger. I've learned like how to become a better leader and just I'm more comfortable with the game and I feel like I'm one of the best players out there every time I step on the field. So, I mean, I'm just more comfortable with it. And now with all 37 of the seniors having stuck with it, we have that depth. Uh, we have really competitive practices, um, you know, so that's, I think, really a big testament to our success is because of the way that we prepare. Um, and it's really been a lot of fun, you know, to see the guys flying around out there, making plays on defense, scoring touchdowns, um, thinking back for me, you know, when I got hired here, they were in seventh grade. And so to see them now and having all that success, I'm just really happy for them and really proud of all the work that they put in to make that happen for themselves. Coach Fisher and the Tigers are very proud to be playing during these odd times and are very happy to represent the city of Farmington for their successful season. You know, for us, it's great to be out there and be together, but we don't take any of that for granted. And, you know, for us to be able to have a football season 
Uh, we understand the responsibility that comes with that in trying to represent our school and our community and, every, and all the great things that Farmington has to offer. And I think it's important that, you know, anybody that's watching this understands, you know, we can't have the fans in the game, at the games with us as much, but we still feel that spirit and that support every night that we're out there. And, you know, hopefully they know too that we're playing for them and, and for our whole community. This is Tyler DeWard reporting for Tiger Live News.